Avis Mills has lost his starting job for the Houston Texans. So today in Madden 23, I attempt to save the career of Davis Mills. Mills will have three years to accomplish as many of the following goals as he can. Reach 890 overall in Madden, make the playoffs with his new team, win an NFL MVP, and win a Super Bowl. The first thing we need to do is spin the wheel of NFL teams because Davis Mills is not going to be the starting quarterback for the Texans next year. So which NFL team will he be starting for? No matter which team he lands on, we're going to have him as the starter and we are replacing Aaron Rodgers on the Jets with Davis Mills. And here is Davis Mills as a member of the New York Jets as a 73 overall. And for every challenge I complete on this challenge wheel, I can then spin the wheel of upgrades to upgrade Davis Mills or the team that he's on. But because Davis Mills is not very good right now, we are going to give him a free upgrade going into year number one. So what are we upgrading for Mills or the Jets? We are going to give Davis Mills plus 10 to all the speed stats. Hopefully, Davis Mills is going to use this speed. We're going to make his speed an 87 after being a 77, his excel to an 89 instead of a 79, and his agility to an 86 instead of a 76. And even with those upgrades, Davis Mills stays a 73 overall. Now we're going to spin the wheel of challenges to hopefully upgrade Davis Mills. What are we going to be playing? It's going to be Madden, so we're going to be staying on this game. So we are actually in Houston, backed up all the way at our four-yard line. Obviously, I can't use Davis Mills in an online game on the Jets because you can't trade him and then use that roster online. So I have to keep him with the Texans here. So we're trying to pick up this first down. It's fourth and seven. I'm going for it from my own five-yard line because why not? And Brandon Coach just saved us right there. In a regular game, I would never do that, but because we're playing for this upgrade, I mean, why not? And then I'm picked immediately after. So what am I really doing? That was completely done by me. And then he's going to take it for six. Okay, well, I kind of deserve that. We're not getting the upgrade for Mills. So this is what the team is looking like going into our first year. Not great, but not absolutely horrible. I'm hoping the defense can carry us this year. But we have year one, week one, first drive for Davis Mills as a New York Jet. What can he do? Protection, not horrible. He's going to dump it to his running back Carter right there for nine. And now we have a third and three at our 39-yard line. Can Mills pick this up? Protection's holding up over the middle wide opens. Tyler Conklin, and we got a first down. And what a first drive this is right now. At the 27-yard line of the Ravens, we are approaching the red zone with Davis Mills. And that one is going to go to our running back right there, and we are going to lose a yard. For some reason, Brees Hall is not out here. I got to fix that and somehow put Brees Hall on this team. I don't know why he's not running the football. Do they still count the injury on this roster? I have no idea. But Michael Carter gets the carry right there. I'll get Brees in for the future games. We're probably going to want to lean heavily on the run game at some points. we got a third and 11. Davis Mills? What a catch right there by Garrett Wilson. Will that hold up? And now from the six-yard line, can we cap off this first drive for Davis Mills with the Jets with a touchdown? Michael Carter gets the carry. He gets to about the three and a half. Well, we're definitely getting three, so not a bad first drive for Davis Mills with the Jets. But can we get seven? We want seven. Tyler Conklin's out there. Garrett Wilson, Alan Lazard. I said we were guaranteed to get three. We're actually guaranteed to get seven because Marlon Humphrey is going to get a pick six off of Davis Mills after what was a great first drive on his new team. Now we're going to lose our first game with Davis Mills. We lose by two scores, but we have three years left here. And season one ends with a 5-12 and 12 record. I can't say I'm surprised. Hopefully year two is better. Davis Mills, not a great first season with the Jets. Not even 4,000 passing yards, 23 touchdowns, 16 picks. He produced one 1,000-yard receiver in Garrett Wilson. Back to the wheel of challenges we go. First time around, not great. Obviously threw that pick six. So we want to be a little bit better. And we're going to get another chance at Madden. That's pretty funny. Guy seems like he knows what he's doing. A lot of play actions. We're over everything this time. We take down Josh Allen. He's going to go for this. I can't say I would approve of this. I mean, we got Diggs locked up. He's got a chance that way. We'll just catch that. Thank you very much. Can we get a pick six this time around? Make a missed the tackle. I'll take that, King. Good pick. All right, we're looking Dorsett or OJ Howard's way right now. Dorsett over the middle. Just hold on to the ball. He's got Tredavis White on him. Way to hold on to that. I need an extra blocker. Is Howard going to block? Yes, he is. Because Von Miller's just going crazy on us right here. Brandon Cooks. Can Davis deliver this ball? And I'm picked by Micah Hyde. Almost a really good throw right there. Don't tell me he's going for another pick six. Someone make a tackle, please. Thank you. Here we go. Harflats out there. Watch anything quick. Oh, how did Davis get so open? Wow. We didn't get a touchdown first in either of these attempts.
Well, I haven't been doing this team any favors, but they actually look a lot better going into year number two. The offensive line got better. Corey Davis, Brees Hall, Garrett Wilson, they all went up in overall. Tyler Conklin even. We have Mikai Becton, who's an 81 overall superstar on the line as well. And defensively, this team's still looking really good. Well, checking in on this team midseason year two, it is not looking good. One and six for the New York Jets. Ten touchdowns, three picks. The ratio isn't bad, but he needs a lot more touchdowns and yards. Brees Hall's trying to carry the load the best he could right now. 471 yards rushing, one touchdown. Touchdown seven games. Our Wilson's playing good though. 567 yards, two touchdowns. McCole Harmon, 488 and five touchdowns. Corey Davis, 337. But somehow the Jets flipped the script in the second half of the season. Now are eight and eight. Second half of the season, the Jets beat the Colts. Chargers, Browns, loss to the Bills, beat the Broncos, Dolphins, Giants, Raiders, and loss to the Cowboys. That's an insane second half. Right now, the Steelers, though, hold the seventh seed. The Colts, Dolphins, and Jags are all 9-7. We would need so much luck to get into the playoffs, though. And because the playoffs don't seem likely this year, let's jump in with Davis Mills. He must have had a good second half. I don't know how the Jets start off so bad and now finish 8-8 eight and eight with a possibility of actually finishing 9-8. and eight. And that was an insane catch, but out of bounds for Gary Wilson. If we can add two players to this team or maybe even upgrade Davis Mills, we're going to be looking pretty good going into next year. If they bounce back this hard, carry that momentum into year three. And Davis Mills is almost picked. Let's give Davis one more drive to show us something here last week of the season. I mean, if we pick up this win... We would need so much luck to get in the playoffs. I don't even know what would need to happen for all four of those teams to lose, plus for us to have all the tiebreakers. Maybe the defense carried. Maybe the offense never stepped it up. We're going to check the stats for year two Davis Mills after this game. But have we even picked up a first down? I don't even know. Finally, though, Tyler Conklin gets it. And Davis Mills and the Jets find their way to the one-yard line. First and goal. I assume the ball is going to Brees Hall. Yes, it is. And Brees Hall is in the end zone for a New York Jets touchdown. And do we hold on for the entire game becomes a question. We're up 16-0. This Jets defense might have stepped it up in the second half. They are dominating the Patriots right now until I jinx in the Patriots score 15. And we're going to choke this game away, huh? 23-18. Can we at least win it just to see if we somehow get into the playoffs? We have an eight-point lead. We win the final game of year number two. Let's see if we got lucky and got in the playoffs. A few moments later... We are somehow in the playoffs against the Bills. How did we get in? I think all of these teams lost. We go 9-8. Steelers 9-8. Colts 9-8. Dolphins go 9-8, but they also get in. Jaguars 9-8. That is so crazy. And I know some people are going to think that I gave some of these teams losses. That way we get into the playoffs. But obviously, see, the Steelers did not get one. The Jaguars also did not get one. And the Dolphins did not get one, but the Dolphins wound up getting in. At least he didn't throw a lot of picks. He had 28 touchdowns and 9 picks. Not a bad ratio. Brees Hall was productive. 1,353 yards rushing, 8 touchdowns. Garrett Wilson over 1,000 yards again. I honestly can't believe that we're in the playoffs. I did not think that was going to happen. After starting off, what, 1-5, 1-6? and, five, one and six? We were horrific. Our record was so bad, I cannot believe we're in the playoffs right now after half the season. And now anything can happen. Once you get in the playoffs, it's a 0-0 record all the way through. All it takes is one Super Bowl run right here. And over the middle, it's Garrett Wilson. He picks up a first down. I really can't even process the fact that we're actually in a playoff game right now with the Jets, with Davis Mills. And Brees Hall is going to take that one to the 41. And then a huge 28-yard pickup by Miko Hartman puts us at the 31. Let's see if we can tie this game up now. Our defense was good enough to get us into the playoffs here. They did go up 7, though, to the Bills, which isn't great. But we're definitely big underdogs in this game. Field goal would be awesome here. A touchdown would obviously be better. And wide open is Garrett Wilson. We're out the 6. This team's momentum must be crazy right now, too. The locker room talks, the pep talks in the locker room must be going crazy at the moment. Them to make the playoffs and Tyler Conklin touchdown. We got a 7 7 game. Josh Allen finally takes the lead by seven. Can we tie this game up? It's a defensive battle both ways. We really have tied this game up, but of course, Josh Allen scores right after. But we get three. Well, we have a chance. Doesn't look like it. We lose our playoff game, but I just can't believe we even got here. And for the final time in this video, going into year number three, we have one more challenge to complete. And it will be NHL 23. And as much as I hate the Devils as a Rangers fan, they play in New Jersey and the Jets actually play in New Jersey. So we're going to go with them and hopefully score the first goal in this game and get our first actual upgrade that we earned for Davis Mills or the Jets. Skate, Siegenthaler. Get it to Meyer. What a goal. Finally, we put it in the net. Timo Meyer gets us our first earned upgrade for Davis Mills. And it is about time we earned ourselves an upgrade. And what are we going to be upgrading? New team. I'm going to ride it with the Jets. I'm going to decline that option. Let's spin it again. The Jets made the playoffs last year. We got some momentum. Let's get an upgrade here. 
So we gotta do something else. We're really gonna land on new team option again. Should have just took that off the wheel. One more time. If we somehow land on that again, I guess that might be a sign to go to a new team. What do we have? Let's see, new team option was actually right there. Plus 10 to all the accuracy stats of Davis Mills. So we are gonna start with the short accuracy, making it a 96 from an 86, the medium to a 95 instead of an 85, and the deep throw accuracy from a 78 to an 88. And with those upgrades, Davis Mills just short of a 90 overall. And this is what the team looks like in year number three. I think everybody pretty much just got better as they got a little bit older. And the defense looks good. Jordan Whitehead's on the team. So it's Garner, Quinn Williams is X-factored. CJ Mosley though getting a little bit older. And we end year three with a playoff berth once again going 11 and 6. Davis Mills was super efficient with the accuracy stats boost. He finished fourth in the league in touchdowns, 4,008 yards, 40 touchdowns, eight picks. Sadly though, no MVP votes for Davis Mills and the Jets. And our wild card matchup is against the Chargers. We got a home playoff game with the New York Jets. Sadly though, not off to a great start, down 14 nothing. We do bounce back, we get seven. Chargers are a good team though, no doubt about it. Even as a wild card team here. Chiefs probably won their division, so it's tough to get number one in the AFC West. 23 to 13, Chargers. And this is really how it's going to go. Our first home playoff game in year number three, our final year, and we're out in the first round. And after the three years, Davis Mills only completed one goal. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're new, in the comments down below, make sure to check out my other channels and also make sure to follow me over on my social media. But I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace.